to the outdoor adventures with Billy Dog out here. Come here, Billy. Come on. Good lad, good lad. And uh, yeah, I was tagged recently by Rod in, uh, from uh, Beat Around the Bushcraft Kerwood. Tagged me in uh, Show Us Your Bushcraft Knife, your favourite bushcraft knife. So I'll do that bid while we're out. Lovely Friday afternoon. Absolutely beautiful. I love these woods. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit grey, going a bit dull, but these woods are uh, fantastic. I love them. There's loads of fungi, loads of fungi. There's loads of old birch and you know dying birch and what have you. So we'll do a couple of skills, and I'll show you my favourite bushcraft knife as well. I've just uh, got myself a horse's hoof fungus off an old birch tree. Now it depends how dry it is this, but uh, we're going to have a look at this. Well, the thing is with these, hopefully this is going to be alright to use, this is a good tinder fungus. But uh, the thing is, they take a long time to grow. You know, I think it's like a year for each concentric circle. So that's a long time, isn't it? So it's not, I'm not going to... Ideally, this is going to be the only one that I'm going to pull off a tree for the next two years or more. And that might do me, that amount of tinder that I can get out of this for what I want to use it for. Uh, it's a decent uh, tinder fungus. There's various ways I'm going to do and stuff like that. It takes a little bit more getting getting right. But uh, you can sort of, you can use this pretty easily, pretty quickly, even just the well, I've got it from the tree like this. So we're going to prep that and what have you. And we're going to use that today. Uh, and a couple of other skills. And I'll show you my favourite knife. Alright, stick with us. See you in a minute. Good spot as any. Good lad, good lad, good boy, good lad, good boy, good boy. So this is the spot where I've had a raised bed in past. You can see me pegs and uh, bits and pieces. Long time ago. But uh, get the kit sorted. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. New patch. Some of you might recognise that. That's uh, from Bellissima's retreat. So if you're a soldier with PTSD or any mental health issues, or just an ex-soldier who likes to spend time out and about, get yourself down to Bellissima's retreat. Yeah. So look it up, look it up. The good set of lads yeah, fall down there, and they're a, they're a top bunch. So yeah, so they'll look after you. So get yourself down there if you fancy it. I we do a bit of volunteering down there, not enough but a bit, and uh, I enjoy it, the top bunch. So yeah, there you are, Bellissima's Retreat. So yeah, when I'm cutting, I'm going past my thumb that way. What I don't want is for my thumb to be in the way. So it'll be like that.
the bags that I've made for me uh, bath in the mug. Now I'd normally uh, try and use uh, a flint and steel to light this uh, horses who fungus, but uh, nah, not today. It's it's a bit damp to be fair. It's a little bit wet, so I'm dubious whether that's going to uh, whether it's going to light anyway with a spark. So I'm not going to go for the uh, the low heat spark of a flint and steel. Probably needs a little bit more processing that. I'm just going to uh, I'm gonna use the ferrocerium rod. Get a bit more, some bigger sparks on it. with the horseshoe, the horseshoe fungus today. It's too damp, it's, it's wet, it's been minging on it. So it's in my pocket, I'll let it dry out and uh, when it's dried out I'll use it again next time. Hey Billy, good lad, good lad, you stay there. You stay there, good boy, good boy, good lad. Good, stay there, good lad, good lad. I've got an habit of standing on my fire when I've just set it all up wrecking everything you know it's like when wind gets hold of it then it's game over bits of birch bark everywhere so anyway we're back on birch bark so let's get this thing cranked up and get a break You believe the owl then? Beautiful, isn't it, Billy? Hey. So for me, Rod. That's my old bushcraft knife. That's my favourite. Yep. In conjunction with an axe and a saw. The old Mora. Fantastic in your hand. Does everything. Does everything I need it to do. Bit of birch polypore. It's an old bit. A couple of years out that. Great for stropping your knife. piece off, you get it smouldering, 
great for keeping midges away as well. So yeah, I love these. Pass me knife. I've gone on about them before on other videos, but uh, they're spot on. This is old. This is uh, 2011. I got that and I've used it nearly every day. I've just bought uh, a batch of, the, of similar ones. Only five or each they were. Not, not. I mean, this one I don't know, but this one probably about 13 quid when I got it. A similar batch, five or each, for uh, teaching young people how to use knives. But uh, yeah, cheers for the tag rod anyway, and uh, that's my knife. That's my bushcraft knife anyway. Does the job. Yeah, I like them, and uh, I better go and find Billy in a minute. He's just shot off chasing a deer or something like that. But. Uh, yeah, or oh, Sue Fungus, give it a try. <coughs> Preferably not when it's damp, try and get it uh, when it's a bit drier. And uh, store it a bit. This one, I've got this one in my pocket, so I'll, I'll store it a bit and I'll use it. Works well with your actual uh, flint and steel when it's proper dry. Yeah, and you don't even have to make it into Amadou. You just fluff it up into a nice fluff. Yeah, beat it a bit and then fluff it up. Does the job. Anyway, look after yourselves. Alright, all the best. Catch you soon. Será?